Y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I need to drink before the story time because it's too much. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kukwa Tsubimu Machine. So for today's story time, we're going to be talking about the time that I went to a party that got shut up. But before we get started, you already know the drill. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It is free. The notification bell once you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be down below for your convenience. And yeah, you guys, story time happened a few years ago and it was around December, so mind you, around December, right? It's cold outside. So it's winter season. And this girl decided to throw a goodbye party because she was going back home to Cameroon for the first time. After so many years, she was like, let me throw a goodbye party. Mind you, we were also going back home that same year. So she was so excited. She was like, yeah, I will throw a goodbye party. In my head, I'm like, goodbye party. Like, girl, you're coming back. Anyways, so in this story time, we're going to call the girl Panda, okay? We're going to call her, no, Panda is cute. We're going to call her... Mm, what are we gonna call her? Elephant, okay? We're gonna call her Elephant. <laughs> I'm so petty. <laughs> We're gonna call the girl Elephant, okay? So when Elephant told me about the idea that she had, which was to throw a going away party, I was like, all right, like I'm down, like I'll be there, you know? I used to call Elephant my cousin, right? We weren't real cousins, we were like close family friends, but I used to call Elephant my cousin. So I say used to mind you, cause me yeah, and Elephant, we don't talk anymore. It's been years now. So Elephant had a boyfriend that was like way, way older than her. Elephant was the type of girl that was like into like older men, sugar daddy things like, but this time around she had a boyfriend. He was like older than her, but she was still, you know, having sugar daddies on the side. So Elephant was like, you, you know, my sugar daddy would give me some money. My boyfriend would also get me drinks. So, you know, I would just make some food and we can, you know, have my going away party. I was like, I mean, you seem like you have it all figured out. Why not, right? So the day before the party, I hit up Elephant and I said, Elephant, do you have everything you need? She was like, oh yeah, I actually do. My boyfriend got the drinks. My sugar daddy, I'm meeting him tonight so he can give me some money. And then I was like, oh, okay, do you have the food that you're going to cook? She was like, yeah, I bought a few things. You know, she was like, it's going to be finger food. It's not gonna be like big meals and I was like oh yeah that's actually perfect and then she was like yeah um can you come over earlier before the party so you can help me like get the place together and I was like of course like why not right she didn't even live far from where I used to live at that time so I was like all right elephant I'll be there and then throughout the day we were texting of course you know she was telling me oh can you get me this from the dollar store can you get me this for the dollar store for the decoration I was like oh yeah of course elephant like I'll get it for you so I was going around like you know picking up a few things that she wasn't able to get so I can bring the day of the party. The day of the party comes, I'm like, hey elephant, like what time do you want me there? She was like, you know, the party was supposed to start like at eight. She was like, if you can be there at six, that'd be great. And I was like, all right elephant, I'll be there. So 6 p.m. came, I got my bag ready. I put in my clothes, my shoes, my makeup, cause I wasn't going there, you know, ready for the party. Cause I was going there to help before the party. So I put all my stuff in the bag. I also got the stuff she told me to get the day before, put it in the bag and I asked for a ride. Cause at that time I did not have a car. So I asked for a ride, I got dropped off at her place cause she wasn't far from my house like I said it was like five to eight minutes max from each other like where I used to live and where she used to live we were like that close five to eight minutes max so that's what right I got dropped on her house I got there I saw her you know prepping the finger foods and stuff so I started decorating with the stuff that she told me to buy so after I was done decorating I took out the drinks that were in the fridge and I put it on the table so people can you know serve themselves at the party and then she was like, all right let's go get ready so when I got ready I got my little dress on I had like a mini dress mind you it's cold as heck outside but I got a mini dress because you know I was already indoors and then I got my little makeup on I did not do too much like I said it was just an apartment party and I went ahead and I put my shoes on she got ready as well I was like girl you look cute and then she was like you look cute too so we took like a few you know pictures together so after we took pictures and stuff like that we put on the music but the volume was low like I said it was an apartment party so around 8 39 you guys know Africans are always late people started coming and then we're like oh yeah like the party can really start now so we're so excited and stuff like that her boyfriend came too I'm like first of all you her boyfriend why are you coming so late but anyways so elephant was like Oh yeah, just son, I feel like tonight's gonna be a good night. I was like, girl, me too. I can't wait for us to even turn up some more back home. Cause literally, her trip was a couple days after the party. And literally after she lands 
a couple of days later, I was gonna land. So it was like, yeah, girl, we can't wait to party together. Like, back home is about to be lit. Cameroon is about to be lit. Like, we were all excited, right? We were so excited. So more people kept coming, and then we realized that some people were bringing their friends without even asking if they could bring their friends. But then she was like, you know, girl, we're here to party. We have enough drinks. Let's just tell them if you're missing more drinks. I saw my sugar daddy last night. He gave me some money. So I would definitely go buy more drinks. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So I was like, all right, girl, let's party. We started partying, partying, party. So we started drinking listening to music having fun talking chilling taking pictures like everything was going so well until we realized that some people were doing the most like it's like they were drinking alcohol like they have never seen alcohol before so elephant and i kept looking at each other like do you pick those those people it was like a group of people mind you most of them weren't invited she was like do you i was like girl i see and then these people were just taking shots on top of shot on top of shot in my head i'm like y'all never seen alcohol before like by the way, disclaimer, I do not condemn drinking under the age of 21. In the U.S., you have to be 21 to drink. Do not drink and drive as well. Make sure you drink responsibly and make sure you are at the age of drinking, which is 21 years old here in the United States. All right, let's continue. So we were having fun drinking, turning up, and we kept, like, looking at that group of people that were drinking like they have never seen alcohol, you know, taking shots on top of shots and stuff like that. One of the guys from the group got so drunk, and he was, like, sloppy drunk. Like, you know, like, he would walk, like, bump into you, you know, step on your foot. Like, those type of drunk. And he stepped on this guy's foot. And then the guy was like, excuse me, and the guy just kept walking. And the guy like came and like turned him around like, excuse me, you step on my foot. Kind of like saying like, ain't you gonna say sorry? And the guy was like, bro, it's all right, you're gonna be fine. And that guy punched the crap out of him. Yo, the guy punched him and the guy fell. He was knocked out. I'm dead serious. Like he did not get back up. He was just on the floor. And then his friends came and trying to like, bro, are you okay? Like, you know, trying to wake him up. And then he was literally just on the floor like that. And then they end up like kicking the guy that punched him out. They were like, you know he's drunk, you can tell he's drunk. Like, why did you even hit him? Like, he didn't do it on purpose and he's drunk, you know? You didn't have to put your hands on him. So literally, they had to kick him out. The guy did not want to go out. Like, it was a fight. Like, people literally had to carry him out. So in my head, I'm like, yeah, like one thing I don't like about people that get too drunk, they can't control themselves. And now look, look at this. This guy is knocked out. His friends are trying to wake him back up. Now we are kicking somebody out. Both the guy that got punched and the person that was getting kicked out weren't even invited at the first place. Like they were like plus ones from other people that were invited. So the guy started banging at the door, like open the door. I'm not leaving, open the door. And then I'm like. First of all, you weren't even invited. Anyways, elephant brother is like big and tall. So he came out the door and he was like, yo, you gotta go. Like, you're not coming back in here. So the guy was like, open the door. Yeah, I think I'm playing. And he was like, bro, you gotta go. We didn't hear the banging for a couple minutes. So you guys, I was just editing this video and I realized that around this part of the story, the sound was just so bad. So I was like, let me just come back and continue the story. So we thought the guy left. So we kept partying, having fun. We were going around asking people if they needed anything, you know, making sure everything was all right. Mind you, Jordan came. He came late because he had a work that day, but he came. So he was already at a party. So we're partying, having fun. About 10 minutes later, we hear another knock at the door. Okay, at this point, we are thinking, maybe it's a guest that's late or something. So Elephant's brother goes and opens the door, but he's not opening the door, like, fully. He goes, like, while peeking at the same time, you know, like, to check who it is. As Elephant's brother goes and opens the door while peeking, the guy just pushes the door and says, yeah, I think I'm playing, takes out the gun and shoots up. Man, this is an apartment, so there's another apartment upstairs, you know? I'm like, somebody could have been upstairs sleeping and then just get a bullet through their head. But anyways, guys, I was right across from the guy. Literally, if I went like that and shot, it could have been me. Thank God he shot up. So when I saw the guy shooting, I literally dropped. Like, I scraped my knees, literally. I was bleeding because I dropped so hard, like, on my knees. And I was hiding behind the couch. And I'm just seeing people going everywhere, finding a place to hide as well. People are going in the balcony, in the bedroom, in the kitchen, everywhere. People are finding a place to hide. So I'm like, what is going on? Then I'm hearing a voice, where is Jocelyn? Where is Jocelyn? And guess what? It's Jordan. Yeah, he was asking, where is Jocelyn? Where is Jocelyn? And then I'm hearing his voice, and it's coming from the balcony. So I'm literally crawling. Okay, to the balcony. And then he gives me his hand. So I'm, I, I held his hand and then he pulled me up. So we went to the balcony. There was a closet in the balcony and there was already people in there hiding in there as well. So we literally joined them. 
everybody was holding the door knob in the closet they were my girl and her boyfriend you know i call her boo so boo was like oh my god just like my mom told me not to go out tonight i didn't listen to her if anything happens i'm gonna love her mommy i'm sorry she started confessing in my head i'm like girl calm down her boyfriend is like telling her to calm down that everything's gonna be okay so we we're all just holding the door knob literally putting all our full power in so no one can push it out because it wasn't the type of doors that can get locked you know from the inside so we just had to hold it then a minute or two later i hear a knock at the door and i'm like guys he found us. So I'm thinking the guy found us. Then Jordan asks, who is this? And the elephant brother is like, oh, it's me. Everything is good now. He left. So we all let go and we got out. So everybody was like, yeah, guys, we are dipping. We are leaving. Bye. You know, thank you for inviting us. But yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving. So Jordan is like, just saying, we got to go. I'm like, babe, hold on. I got to find my other pair of shoes. Because when I dropped on the floor, one of my shoes went missing. I didn't know where it was. You know, I was just focusing on finding the voice, which was Jordan, calling me to come to the balcony. So I was like, babe, let me find my other pair of shoes. So we're looking for the shoe. We're looking for the shoe. Then guess what? The police gets there. Yo, I'm like, there we go. So the police gets there. They start searching the house. They're asking us to sit. Literally, they told us to get out of the apartment. There was like a hall in the apartment building to sit on that cold floor. Mind you, I have a mini dress on, and it's cold, y'all. It's winter. It's December. Y'all know how cold it gets, okay? It was so so cold. We had to sit on the cold floor in the hallway with an officer while the other officer was searching the house and stuff. They were looking for the gun. We told them the person that shot left. But you know, of course they had to do their job and look around and stuff like that. And then they found Gary. They were looking in the kitchen cupboard and everything. They found Gary. So for my African, y'all know what Gary is. They saw white Gary and they thought it was some type of D-R-U-G-S. So they took some and put it in the zip lodge, take it with them. But we told them, we were like, you know, we cook that, we eat that. And then they were like, all right. After taking a little bit and putting in the zip lock, they emptied the gari like this in my friend's sink, literally leaving a mess. Her apartment was a mess, y'all. And then they found in like condiments, African condiments, like spices, everything. Just like spilling it everywhere. Looking for stuff, looking for what, I don't know. I'm like, how can a gun be hiding in there? There's no way a gun is going to be hiding in spices. Like, I'm in my head, I'm like, because it was a whole bunch of people of color, they thought they could find, you know, some D-R-U-G-S. So they kept looking around. They messed up the house. They were just like looking anywhere and anyhow. There were a few officers. So while some of them were searching the apartment, we were sitting in the cold floor waiting. One of the officers took the bullet out of the ceiling and put it in another Ziploc bag and closed it and kept it as well. And then they were like, yeah, I got to take pictures. So I was panicking and I was like, police officer, you can literally take me home. Like, I don't live far from here. Like, I don't want to be here. Like, this is crazy. This is my first time here in the gunshot. Like... Literally, I was going crazy, you know, I was also panicking. And the officer was like, yeah, ma'am, um, we gotta first take pictures, get information, and stuff like that. So all of us had to take pictures facing forward and our side profiles. And after that, write down your address and write down your phone number. So we all did that, and then the officer was like, all right, you guys are free to go. We might get in touch with you guys if you need any more information. And then we were like, all right. So everybody got up and left, and I told Jordan, I said, wait, babe, my other shoe is in there. I cannot walk around in this cold floor with just one shoe. So Jordan was like, all right, let's go look for your pair of shoes. So we went in the apartment. That's when I saw that everything was all over the place, like the little tore that place down. So after I found my shoe, I put it on, and I went to Eric's room and got my other stuff. Remember, I changed at her place, so I had to get my other stuff and my makeup stuff. So I got it, and I was an like, elephant. We'll talk. I'll hit you when I get home. She was like, all right. So I gave elephant a hug, and I left. So in the court, Jordan and I were just talking, we were like, wow, this is crazy. Because it was both our first time hearing the gunshot, especially so close. So I was like, yeah, that's crazy. So Bay dropped me off, and then he left. So I called Elephant, I was like, hey, girl, are you okay? And then she was like, yeah, my boyfriend is just the one that's mad at me. He's not picking up my calls. We are going back and forth to text. I'm like, girl, just give him some time. So I asked Elephant, I said, where were you guys when we were all hiding? I did not see you guys in the balcony closet. And she was like, I was in my room, and I found him, her boyfriend, in the bathroom, he was literally sitting crisscross applesauce in the bathtub with the curtain closed. I'm like, yeah, he must have been so terrified. And then she was like, yeah, he's really mad. He's like, you know, cursing her out through text messages. He's technically telling her that, you know, look at the type of company you have and stuff like that. So I was like, girl, just give him time. Like I said, maybe he just needs to digest this. It's a lot. A lot went on. She was like, all right. So the next day, the police officers reached out to us. He, they reached out to me. Elephant, Jordan, and a few other people that we know that were sitting there outside in the hallway with us. And then they were asking if you have any more information about the person. We were like, no, like the person was shot and left. Like we don't even know the person. He wasn't even invited. Like, you know, the officer was like, all right, we will let you guys know if you need any more information. After that, we did not hear anything else about the whole situation. I don't know, maybe the officer was still in contact with Elephant. I do not know. But personally, they did not reach out to neither me or Jordan. So 
We went about our business, we went on vacation. Elephant and I met back home, we partied together, we had fun together, and she told me that she was gonna come and break her lease and then get a new apartment because she don't want to deal with all that because it's traumatizing and stuff. So I was like, yeah, girl, I understand. Just make sure you tell your apartment complex. So when she went back to the States after our vacation back home, she went back before us. So she was like, I want to talk to my rental office. They do not want me to just break my lease and stuff like that, but I really cannot stay here anymore. It was to the point that they had to go to court. By the time I got back to the state, Elephant was moving to a new place, and literally that was it. I did not hear anything else about the whole situation. I don't know if they caught the guy or not, but I really do not think so. Alright, you guys, that's it for today's story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It's free. Turn the notification bell on so they can refer every single time I upload a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate you. Follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link are down below for your convenience. And I'll catch you guys on my next one.